Stanley Milgram did this test. I, I learned it in sociology class, of all things. <clears throat> but Stanley Milgram was trying to answer the question, how did Nazi Germany, how did the Nazis get a whole bunch of pretty good people in Germany to just do things that they really shouldn't have been doing, but they just seemed to follow. And, he, and they were trying to figure out this follower lens. They were trying to figure out why so many people do it. They said it must have been something inherent within the Germans that would cause that to do. And you know what Stanley Milgram figured out? It's not the Germans. He figured out that people in America, that people in England, that people in France, that people around the world were doing this. And that's when they started discovering there's a whole bunch of people. Here's what he did. He literally set up a test where you were, you were it was a simulation. It really wasn't happening, thank goodness. But you were in a room and you had these machines and you had to push a button and it started off with a little low voltage you would ask a question, and if the person got it wrong, you sent them a shock. You pushed a button, and it would go, bzzz, and, and the other end, you'd hear them go, ow, oh, that hurt. I'm sorry, I'm just doing what they asked me to do. All right, here's your next question. And then you'd push a button, it was a little bit higher, and they were literally having to turn up the voltage. And it got to the point, I was watching this. I'm a 21-year-old kid, 20-year-old kid, watching this. And then they turned it up to where they would actually have it on the reading. It would say, danger, harmful. And then some of them would turn and say, I, I don't feel comfortable doing this. I, I'm sorry, you're going to have to complete the test. And they said like 75% of the people finished the test where they had it up to levels that said harmful can be, you know, can, can kill some. And then the other person on the other side was going, ow, that really hurt. Can I stop this? It sounds like I'm hurting. I'm sorry, you're going to have to finish the test. And 75% of them, because they're in the follower lens, they couldn't break free from the moment and say, wait a minute, it doesn't matter if you're telling me to do this. I feel this is wrong. Only 25%. Again, that's where they started figuring out, whoa, this isn't just a nationality thing. This is part of the makeup of the immune system. That because they're so used to following, that they followed even when they felt it was something wrong. We have to break through that. If that person would have been a performer, he would have stopped and said, look, I'm sorry, I know I agreed to do this test, but I can't continue this test. Because the test is violating my inner principles. You see, that's an independent type mindset where just because someone said to do it, if it's wrong, you don't do it just because someone told you to do it. You can actually think for yourself. <clears throat> so how do we get, how do we raise our mental complexity? I'm building up to something really big. Because I spent the last couple days asking that question, I said, there are many times in my business where I realized in my life that I was afraid to do something. And when I was afraid to do it, I knew, well, I have a choice here. I can either just say, well, I'm afraid of it, so I'm just not going to do it. Or if it's something that I want to accomplish bad enough, I got to have the courage to confront whatever I'm afraid of and do it anyway. And once you learn that, once you learn that, once you realize that if you hate losing bad enough, you can change. And if you hate changing bad enough, you can lose. But you can't do both at the same time. You are either in life confronting that Goliath, whatever it is, and changing, or you're running from that Goliath and losing. Pascal wrote a fantastic book called The Pensees, and here's what he said. The heart has its reasons the mind knows nothing about. Let me say that again. The heart has its reasons the mind knows nothing about. Has that ever happened to you where you said, why did I do that? That doesn't make any sense. I didn't even want to do that. Why did I do that? At the conscious level, you didn't think you wanted to do that, but somewhere there was a belief somewhere driving you to that. 